Hey guys, it's Ross Scott, and on the Space Catch today we're going to take a look at the inhabitants of Savarine, the Savarians. So here is their spread. Really like these designs. There are so many influences. And uh, I think it mentions in the Art of Solo, um, a lot of it does come from, say, um, Native American culture, that sort of style. And some of these designs are similar to some of the things we saw for the Pilgrims in Rogue One as well. So perhaps some um, recycled designs have made their appearance in Solo. So let's just see what it says. <clears throat> Savarine's scattered human villages are thought by outsiders to be the result of a lost colony from the dark past of the Republic. Savarians have a deeply spiritual mythology and hold their ancestral links to the ocean close to their hearts. So first we have Crisgold Dartus, which is this guy here. Let's see what it says about him. A keen-eyed lookout, Dartus watches the, approach is, uh, watches the approach of incoming starships and gauges whether or not the vessels pose a threat to his people. At his tap code command, the Severians can seek shelter in burrows and cove shallows until the danger pass. Until the dangers pass. He maintains an effective silent communications network on the beach. Now the club head can be electrified by turning the dial beneath. This club head, there's the dial. That beautiful. Let's see what this is. Tap code comlink and location transponder. So yeah, it's this. Now let's see this lady here. <coughs> Vamasto Maya. Maya is an elder in the Narcotic Coast village and has seen firsthand some of the tragedies suffered by the settlement. She believes the unique refining qualities of Savarine sand and seawater are for the Savarians alone to exploit. It was Maya who oversaw the rebuilding of the Biz refinery to benefit her people. Now the gold link she's wearing represents the beach sitting between land and sea. Which is this. It's very attractive. Let's see what this says. I think it's about her cloak. Adasote fabric woven from sea plant fibre. Now we'll have a look at Taraya Kotsme, this lady down here. A seer with her eye beyond waves, Kotsme is believed to have fortune-telling abilities. She blesses relationships and newborns in the village to ensure good fortune. Superstition prevents Kotsme from showing her mouth apart from when making predictions, so she keeps her mouth covered at all times. Now we'll look at this guy here. Ken Holt Ransard. Ransard is a village spiritual man, but also its most skilled distiller. His particular technique for cultivating sea grapes produces a brandy that is renowned by aficionados across the sector. And the beard is marked by dye he applies to honour the sea. That's why he's got red tinged beard. Now let's look at this lady here. Lanzarotta Malco. Bear in mind this is filmed, I think, on Lanzarotti. So that's where that name comes from. Marco supervises the upkeep of the generator windmills and desalination moist evaporators that dot the coast and provide the severians with power and water. Com antenna on plastoid backing mount is this. Let's see what this says. Mark of rank in refinery operations. Let's we'll have another look at that because I think it goes onto her neck. So you can't quite make it out. Now let's check out this one here. Yerpagarayon. She also has that com antenna if you see here. Garayon brokers landing rights and trade deals with the scoundrels who come to Savarine. The Severians do not require much. They trade their refinery services for food, textiles, technology or medicines. Imperial credits have no value here. Garayon often enlists help from elders like Maya or the insightful Kotsme. And her hands, denoting a pause in sign language. So they have like, um, like code with, uh, um, with uh, what do you call it? Where you talk with your hands, I can't remember. Uh, anyway, uh, then check out this one. Sign language, that's what I was thinking, I'm sorry. Doa Reparid. Reparid's fellow Severians joke about him having the easiest job on the narcotic coast. 
air traffic control. Indeed, with very few landing pads to oversee in regularly clear skies, Doha is a fairly mellow is fairly mellow and spends a lot of time daydreaming. There have been some panic moments when a stricken ship arrives and his attention is required. Now he has a tap code commonly for emergencies, which you see here. And then what's this? Pockets filled with signal flares. So there you go guys, so that is just a look at some of the inhabitants of Savarine. I assume this is not all of them, these are loads and loads and loads and only a handful make it into the guide. I think the same was true for Emphis Nest Scan as well. One of my commentators mentioned that uh, the person who was in A spread was not in the gang and there was more people in the lineup than was in the spread. The lineup on the beach that were in the spread. But yes, that for now is just a look at the inhabitants of Savarine. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. Leave me a comment and suggest for an upcoming topic you'd like to see discussed or like the video.